So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And our live game is Ukraine against Iceland. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. A delight to have him on board. Thanks for that, Peter. And may I say a big hello to everyone. The anthem of Iceland rings out. It's the national anthem of Ukraine. Lineups we've just been given. Zinchenko, Mikolenko, Piltrick, Mikolenko can't hurt you with his back to goal, and I think if they can keep him facing in that direction, then the only thing he can do really is to just lay the ball off, and, and he's not really going to cause much trouble if he continues doing that, so I think they're defending him very, very well. Managed to get it away. Tries a through ball. Loose, who's getting there? That's surely a foul free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. Let's be lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. in positions like that, I think they'll be made to pay. They've got to be very careful, just a little more discipline is called for. And that should be the keepers. Good trick. Ukraine putting their opponents under a lot of pressure in the early stages. Charges in. Is that a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Zabani. 
Zinchenko. Now the pass. And that's been repelled. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. So what now? Hoops it upfield. Dovbik. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Ukraine yet to have a shot on target. Goodmanson, Finn Bogerson looks to slip it through, and he's there to cut it out. Zinchenko, good trick, Mikolenko. Zinchenko. That's offside. Yes, it is. Yeah, fractional, but fractional is, is enough. He was off. Bogerson. Tries to dink it in, aimed wide, and he's done well to reach that. Zinchenko. Spoon forward. Clinton. Dovbik. Looks like a good ball through. Good, strong hand by the keeper. He's done very well to get to that. The keeper has shown great concentration there. I think his anticipation pretty much did the trick for him. Target. Well, the keeper was helpless then. He knew he wasn't getting to it, so for a second or two he must have been praying it was off target, and he got lucky, very lucky. Vincent. Quickly. Forward it goes. Zinchenko. It's a good run down the left hand side. Defects it behind for a corner kick. from immediate danger. Zinchenko. Great run, this. He's covered quite a distance. Shoots! It's good distance on it. Kolenko, Zinchenko, good trick, Zinchenko passes it through, oh well defended, that had to be done, 
keeps it out of harm's way. The half time whistle goes. The midway point of the game. Ukraine ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. So they head in no further forward. The score here still nil nil. Things going for the second half. Ukraine playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty of positives to take from the first half despite the scoreline. In fact, Iceland have a free kick. Well, for me, he had a very decent crack at it, but it has to be said that the odds on those from distance were never really that good, and you'd always favour the keeper in that instance. Well, you can sense they're really going for it now. This is gung ho, and only a goal will do for them. Zabani. Mikolenko. Good trick. Looks like a good ball through. He's dealt with that well. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Zinchenko gets it back. Good trick. Zinchenko. Pumps it upfield. That's a case of crossing in hope, but unless they provide some more options, it'll be more missed than hit. All the way back, and they start again. Zabani. Nothing to reflect upon in terms of goals here. It is nil-nil. Nikolenko. This has gone, presumably, for offside. It may look like a predictable long ball forward, but it's, it's very effective, and the run just needs a slight tweak to beat the offside. They look as though they can make this come together. Iceland have plenty in the middle. They've planned to defend the aerial route and will do so with numbers. In with a header! It's there! And that is the goal we've all been yearning for. Oh, the cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Look, you can't deny that it's a blow, but this game is far from unsalvageable. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. 
I timed this run brilliantly, and I think he has every right to be a little annoyed with, with the passer then, and I think he's letting him know right now about that. Just a little more behind it was needed. Ukraine get it back again. Big trick. Yaremchuk is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and the fact that he... Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. but he will be gutted to miss that. Oh, that was a lovely little dink over the top just to get the runner in on the keeper, and what a pity he just couldn't produce a goal from that. Ball still to be played, Peter. So ideally, they need to maintain a, an attacking endeavor. Coaxed out to the wing, looking to shoot. Oh, he's managed to get himself offside. Tidy challenge, free kick given. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Zinchenko, so they got the only goal to give them a 1-0 lead. Tries a through ball. Up he gets! They've done it! Two up and threatening to pull clear. What a great header, got plenty on that. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the area of the park, this fella is definitely no slouch. Without reply, it's 2 0. Goodman Sun has a look to the possibilities, but in the end, it's fruitless. And back to base. Nikolenko. Trick. Into the channel. That's it back. Zabani. Ukraine still 2 0 up and looking now to see it through. Minutes. He certainly 
caught him there, it's a free kick. There could be trouble here. And for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Here, what can they make of it? Ukraine presented with the perfect chance here to open up their lead. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Aim forward. Now the pass. Loose ball, swept in, Goodmanson crosses in a low one. Oh, that probably deserved better. Oh, they really wanted that, there's so many players in the box, everyone's committed to attack now. additional time Sikankov oh, that's a foul free kick's been given and he's gonna have his name taken well that was coming Peter you know he was on a final warning after the whole Too strong there. Decent strike, kept it fizzing low. Job really well done in all departments, a real some-of-the-parts team effort. Your reflections then, Jim? It's a very good win, and as a former defender, I know they'll be very happy at the back not to have conceded. Yes, you're part of a team, but as a unit that works together, you have a, an added pride in, in a job well done. Well, that's it for tonight's match, so it just remains for me to thank Jim Begden alongside me and to wish you all a very good evening.